Hello everyone. Uh, today on this tutorial, I will show you how to use uh, Visual Studio and, and how to create a C Sharp application that you are going to use to retrieve IO Windows OS information. What that means is it's going to retrieve whether you, you have a Windows 7, a Windows 10, a Windows 8, depending on your machine. Um, and we're going to be using uh, WMI, which is Window Management Instrumentation. So let's get started. Let's go ahead and uh, name and uh, create our new project, our Windows form application. I'm going to go ahead and name OS version WMI. Go ahead and click OK. Wait until it creates a project. Now, once the project is created, we're going to go to the next step, which is to add the Windows management instrumentation uh, reference okay, just bear with me here so i have my properties on over here on no, i'm sorry not my properties i have my solution explorer on the right side i use this button to get to it so let's go ahead and click reference right click on reference add a reference let's give it a second here and on the search bar make sure you click assemblies here type management and select system dot management and go ahead and click OK. So in terms of uh, references dependencies, we are all good to go. So now let's go ahead and add two tools here. Let's go. I'm going to go ahead and click on the toolbar, select a button. And uh, I'm going to name this button. I'm going to go right, right click on that properties. I'm gonna name this button BTN get OS. Okay, and I'm gonna I am going to create the text. I mean change the text also. It's gonna call get OS. Now that's that's what the button's gonna be called. And I'll also be adding a text box. So text box. And on this text box, I'll put it right underneath here to make it look nicer and make it look a little bigger. Everything lined up. This text box, I'll go ahead and uh, name it text box OS version. So let's go ahead and make it smaller just so it looks nicer. There you go. Now, let's now let's go ahead and add our fee, uh, first piece of code to this program. So double click your form or right click on it and click view code. So now you are on your code view, uh, <clears throat> on your code view option. So I will create a function called, that's gonna, a, a public function that's gonna return a string called get Windows OS version. So let's go ahead and create a result string first. This is where I'm going to store the result of the OS version. And let's create an error message here if in case we get an error. Enabled. To retrieve OS version. All right. So the first step is to create a management scope. And set it to no. We're going to use this management scope to connect to a specific machine. You see how it's in red here. So we already have the reference. Just right click on it and click and select using system management. As you can see, it's going to go away. There you go. Now let's open a try catch statement here just so we can, in case there are any errors, we can catch those errors. And let's go ahead and um, return result here so we can get the, this squiggly lines out of here. All right. All right. Next step is create the connection connection options. What the connection option is are going to do is set the options for this con for my connection. 
right? So the first option is the impersonation. So let's go ahead and set this. All right. Now the next options I'm not gonna use. We are not gonna use for this example, right? I'll, I'll grab it from a different code here. We're not gonna use for this example just for purpose of it, just to show you guys what it looks like. So if you're connecting, if you're using this code to connect to your machine, you do not need to add these option username, option password, and option authority, okay? Uh, but if you are connecting to a machine, a remote machine, or if you are using a domain, then you need to use these options here and add a, the username, password, and authority for a specific machine you're connecting to. Now, authority means domain. If you're using a domain, make sure you include this NTL domain before your domain name. So this will be my domain name my domain name right there okay but for this example we're not going to use this so i commented out i um, mean if you need this code you can always go to my to our blog and grab that information all right so ne next step is we're going to go ahead and start the scope start initialize this scope all right so So I'm going to add my workstation name here. My workstation name, root, and the location with the options. With the options I we just set up. Oops. Options, there you go. So, and then we're gonna have to go ahead and connect. So, a way to know if your connection uh, is successful or not, once we once you run your your code, if it gets stuck here and then it doesn't go to the next line, that means something is wrong with this line. Okay, or it could be that you need to actually add these options. But anyway, so this this is gonna connect to this computer here, to the information you put it here. And if the information is not there, it's gonna connect to your local machine, okay? Now we're gonna create the query that's gonna pull the uh, Windows OS version. We're gonna use object query query. And now we're gonna create the query here, select, oops. We're going to create the query, select cap, caption, caption, it's uh, the version of OS from 132 operating system. So this is the query, this is pretty much the query. The query is going to pull only the caption. You can actually do star that pulls all the, all the properties. But all we're gonna do for this example here, it's just to pull the caption, which is gonna be the OS information. Now we're gonna create a management, uh, I'm sorry, a management object searcher, which is gonna uh, retrieve the data, which is gonna retrieve the data for us for, from, for, from this query. And we're gonna pass in the scope, which is the connection here that's connected. And we're gonna pass in our query that we just wrote. And now to get the values, to return the values, we're gonna use a management object collection called query collection. And we're gonna use our searcher that we just used and do a get on it. So this way I'll retrieve the data from this query, okay? And let's, 
we're gonna now we're gonna loop through each item and get the data we're looking for using an object in the query collection. Here's the query collection. So and I'm gonna set a result to actually equals the caption that it's cat is a caption from that query and then to string. Alright. So this is all we need so for for this get windows uh oh, what's the error here? Oh okay, so it needs to be static. No, hold on. Oh, of course, I put it in the wrong place. All right, so it's actually supposed to go in here. There you go. All right, so so this is all we need. I mean, you could do, you, you could actually put this result. You could put a result in here with, you could put this. You could put a result in here like that instead and put blank here just in case. Just try, you can do just try, you can do this way so that way only if there's an error it's gonna get through here which is either this it's it, it's the same same thing so now let's, let's go back to our form double click on our get os uh, button now we want to set our text box value equal the text equals this function here all right so this is pretty simple Let's go ahead and give it a try. Uh, go ahead and build your program or my program. I'm gonna build it, run and build it. Let's go ahead and start it. Let's give it a second here. It's building my project. All right. All right. So here's my small, simple program. Just click on the button, and it should give me the data. So I have a Microsoft Windows 10 Pro. Um. So that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, you can drop a comment or go to our blog. Give us a feedback. Give us a thumbs up. Thank you, everyone.